the first stop is here at Rising Roost. It's known for its breakfast, so let's go have some fun. With Aiden. Look, Aiden. All these horses are roaming free. And we are at the Gran Ceiba de Vieques. This is the oldest uh, Ceiba in Vieques. And it is about 375 years old. So just imagine all the history that this tree has seen on this island. <laughs> See the dragon before, there is a dragon in the tree right here. You can see the dragon head, long head, and the rest of the tree has its body. I am Abe. I am Abe from Abe Snorkeling and Bio Bay, Tour, Bio Bay Tours. Ah, oh, nice. Gracias, Abe. Point at the horse, Aiden. at uh, Rompeolas, also known as the Mosquito Pier of Villacas. You can kind of see it in the distance. This was built to break the waves. And also from the distance out here, you can see the airport. So you can watch the airplanes coming in and out. It's really pretty out here. The water is changes colors, the, the deep dark blues to the Caribbean uh, blues because we're out here a little bit farther. So also what we learned about here is that they are in preparations for using this as the main ferry uh, pier rather than the ferry pier that they have that enters into town. It is a lot more uh, modern and accessible for, for boats. It would be a long drive for all the cars and things to come out here, but uh, I can kind of see why they might think about doing that.
bunkers of Vieques. And these are kind of hidden back here on Bunkers Road on the west coast of Vieques. So the, these used to be bunkers or uh, storage units for the military when the military was here in Vieques. So now they're just used for Para La Naturaleza, which is like an environmental group. They, I don't really think they fill them up with too much, but I'm sure they have some of them stored. There's a lot of them along here but you can't even really see them from the sky because there's so much vegetation over them. And they built that on purpose so that they could be disguised um, and less likely to be bombed by potential enemy forces. So it's kind of an interesting remnant out here from the days when Vieques was a military outpost. There's some bat guano. Oh, this is incredible. It's kind of hot in here. So this was used for the storage in the bunkers. This is what the inside of a bunker looks like. Pretty empty. Apesta. Tiro maro. or something, huh? Yeah. Isn't that cool? The old yeah. train? Uh, we found these really big rocks just on the side of the road We're down in the Esperanza area on the south shore. And, um, so
So this is the beach right outside of our um, guest house that we're staying at. And from what I understand, it's called La Chata. It's not a very well-known beach uh, on the North Shore here, but it's really kind of interesting because they say that this down below here connects to Culebra Island, which on a clear day you can see in the distance. It even has all the electrical lines and things. And this way, they say that there is some great snorkeling out here. Today's my birthday, so we're gonna go out and but it's a beautiful sunset. And as we enter back into the property, I don't know how, but these horses somehow even got in here. This is completely fenced. But when they say that there's like wild horses everywhere in Vieques, it's true. Like we're gonna have to pass by, by, by these guys to get back into our room. So good thing they're friendly. Sure, we don't know this area too well, but those were recommended to us. So we might walk down the middle. 